Hey everybody, it's another episode of Wood Carving Weekly. I'm your old cousin Jack, and today we're going to do a carver profile on Blake McFarland. Maybe you've heard of him, maybe you haven't. We'll also share with you some Halloween projects that are floating around there on YouTube right now. And we'll visit with Alec Lacasse, who's talking about tools, specifically knives. So, we'll have some fun, um, share some news, and let's get started. Let's start with our carver profile today. Blake McFarlane runs a company called BM Sculptures. And an interesting thing about Blake, he has a couple of careers that he's been involved with. He used to be a professional baseball player. He was a pitcher in the Toronto Blue Jays system for several years, and then became a full-time artist. So BM Sculptures has actually created a variety of different pieces for organizations like the Golden State Warriors, Goodyear, and a number of NCAA college programs. So it all started back in 2015. At that time, Blake was still in the Blue Jays organization. He was picking up carving and sculpting as a hobby. And then he began to sell some of his work. Within two years, he retired from baseball and became a full-time artist. And as I mentioned, he sculpts with all kinds of materials, wood and epoxy, metal, even recycled tires. He's got some amazing works. Another thing that's interesting about Blake is he was featured on season three of NBC's Making It. So you may have seen him on that TV show. Today, I'm going to share a video with you. It's uh, Blake's most recent video, which shares a carving of a bull and he says this is the most difficult piece he has ever created. He starts with a variety of different types of wood. He glues them up into a really unique end grain pattern and then begins carving the shape of a bull. Well, uh, I have to warn you a little bit about this video. Uh, the unfortunate mishap that occurs. Uh, see, Blake has a run-in with his bandsaw and he comes out on the, the losing side of that. So there's a little bit of blood in the video. It's uh, a good thing, however, his wife Jessica is a doctor. <laughs> and as sometimes happens with carvings, he um, gets kind of in a zone and accidentally removes the Bulls Heritage Factory. He made his bull into a steer if you know what I'm saying. So he has to grab some scrap wood and fashion a new set of nudicles for his bull. <laughs> it's a really amazing creation. Take a look uh, and enjoy the video. Well, when we're talking about tools, most of us are enamored with different knives, aren't we? This week, Alec Lacasse has a video where he says, don't buy a carving knife until you watch this. In the video, he kind of shares information about a variety of different knives with different blade styles and such, and gives you his impressions and observations about what they're used for and um, how he likes them or not, and whether or not you really need a detail knife. <laughs> so near the end of the video, Alec also shares his method for sharpening and for honing or stropping uh, his knife blades. Take a look. Well, the Beavercraft Tool Company has a YouTube channel, of course, and they have a new video out this week. It's a step-by-step -step guide on how to carve a green man from a block of basswood. Now, this green man, uh, with most of their tutorials at Beavercraft, they like to kind of glue the pattern onto the wood before they begin the carving. And you can get the pattern for this green man and lots of other projects from the Beavercraft folks. All you have to do is sign up for their newsletter. You'll see the instructions on how to do that right below the Beavercraft video that's linked down below the comments section here. There's a new tutorial video series from Eric Owens. Eric is going to share with you how to carve a Santa from a rough out this is the red and gold Santa from More Roughouts. I believe the website is roughouts.com. 
Eric gives you all of the information you need to order a rough out of your own if you want to carve along. He even has the part number available for you in the video. Now, he has a five part series and he takes you through the entire carving from beginning to end. In part five, he also shows you the painting of the Santa and he talks about some finishes, polyurethane versus lacquer. So take a look at Eric Owen's carving. Well, it is that time of year. Halloween is right around the corner. I uh, just want to say thank you to everyone for hitting that like button below the video. It's really great. And for all the people who have subscribed. Uh, and I want to thank Jordy Johnson. He, he has shared his uh, enthusiasm with his viewers and asked them to come over and take a look at our channel. Thank you, Jordy. Really appreciate that. So let's start off with a carving project from a kind of a new website, Levi Arts. So in this video, uh, the carver shows us an example of how to carve a pumpkin with sort of this scary phase. What's unique about this video is it's a glowing pumpkin. This channel is from Hong Kong, so there's no talking during the video. There's some scary music playing. But what you'll see is after the piece is carved, the inside of the pumpkin is hollowed out and then placed on top of a little light, which creates a glowing effect. Uh, pretty cool, something you might want to try. So take a look. We have another Halloween project today, and this one comes from Carving and Such. That's a YouTube channel with almost 400 wood carving videos. Now, most of those are power carving. Uh, you'll see that the, the carver here does quite a bit of power carving, but in the video I'm sharing with you today, it's primarily one that's carved using flex cut knives. So you'll see the pumpkin carving with the flex cut knives and then near the end uh, a dremel that's used to kind of hollow out the inside of the pumpkin and there's a really cool effect that happens when they kind of turn this pumpkin into an incense burner uh, it becomes really spooky. So take a look and enjoy well, over at Whittling Woods, Ken has a brand new video on carving a little miniature gnome. I think it's 28 millimeters high, a tiny little gnome. And he walks you through the process. He's going to use a Stanley utility knife and some basswood to take care of the carving piece. And then at the end of the video, he shows you the painted and finished gnome figure. So check it out. Well, Van Kelly has been getting questions from his viewers. They want to know why he carves on the corner for the majority of his face carvings. And they ask, hey, how do you carve a face into the flat side of the block of wood? So Van has a tutorial video. And today you'll be able to check it out. He shows you how to more or less form and shape a face on the flat side of a block of wood. Now in this video, Van is going to show you how to sort of rough out the primary features of the face, but doesn't include the final detail of putting in the eyes and such. Uh, but there's plenty there for you to get started and rough out a shape of a face. You know, last week we had a video from Talo where he had kind of roughed out the shape of a small figure. And I mentioned at the time, I didn't know if that was going to be part one and there would be a part two, or if that was more or less just showing you how to rough out a small figure. Well, there is a part two. There's a new video, uh, and it's called How to Carve a Bad Uncle. <laughs> you, can, you can tell uh, that it's picking up where the other video left off with this roughed out figure, and then Talo shows you the carving of the bad uncle and gives you some different examples, um, different clothing styles and kind of hats and things. He usually does have a variety of different samples, not just one uh, that he shares with you. But you can see in this tutorial the step-by-step -step process of going from the roughed out figure to the final form. So take a look. Well, I want to say thanks to everyone. I really appreciate your support and all of the encouragement. I had a lot of great comments from folks and uh, it's, it's always encouraging. Thanks for hitting that like button and subscribing and for being here today. We'll see you next week.